Hello, I am Brian Peterson, Software Product Manager at Vantage. I just returned from a multi-city Equinox tour and the excitement is building around the release of Equinox 7.3 and Equinox apps. Today I want to share with you the key features that make Equinox unique and very simple to use. The Equinox product line consists of Equinox 4.0, 4.1, 7.3, .1, and the Equinox apps. Equinox 4.0 is a mini-widget digital keypad and is not covered in this video. The other Equinox products all take advantage of the full widget platform, which means an out-of-the-box interface, quicker dealer setup, and a great, rich media experience. There are several key concepts about full widgets you need to know. First, there are three levels of navigation, the dashboard view, full screen view, and an edit mode. Second, the widgets are built around the concept of profiles, or collections of widgets, and thirdly, the entire Equinox line is 100% consistent across different screen platforms. Let's now take a deeper dive into this full widget experience. The dashboard is the topmost navigation layer and arguably the most important layer because users will spend the vast majority of their time there. For example, if I need to raise the level of the lights, I swipe over to the lighting widget and ramp the desired light and turn it on or off as needed. So here I am looking at the lighting widget and the desk light, and I want it a little bit brighter, a little bit dimmer. I can ramp it up, I can ramp it down, and I get visual feedback that that's what's going on. If I want to listen to music, I swipe over and find the music widget and see that the Scorpions are playing here in the office. And from the dashboard, I can ramp the volume, hit the play button, hit the pause button, or turn the speakers on or off as needed, all while getting rich visual feedback on what's happening. You know, we're very excited about this differentiated single layer dashboard. Not only is it simple, but also there's no one out there who does things just like this. You have all the systems right at your fingertips, which will be a feature all users will appreciate. Now, notice in the top right hand corner, there are these discovery dots, and every widget has these dots, which when pressed, take you to the second level or full screen view, and show you all of the information available about that system inside of the widget. So right now I'm going to press the discovery dots on the weather widget and it's going to take me to the full screen view for the Orem Utah weather. And here we can see the seven day forecast, the highs and lows, and even graphical feedback for the current conditions. While also here in full screen view, I can swipe side to side to see additional weather cities such as Hartford, or I can keep going over Indianapolis, or whatever other cities I have in my system. So now, I'm going to take us back to the dashboard. I'm going to press the home button in the top left hand side. And I'm, I jump back to my dashboard. And now I want to deep dive further into, let's say for example, the climate widget. So I'm going to swipe over on my dashboard, find the climate widget, and press the discovery dots again. Inside of the climate widget, I have all sorts of options. I have the mode selection, I have schedules, I can put it in manual mode, I have heat set points, I have cool set points, etc. Additionally, inside of the full screen view here, I can swipe side to side for more thermostats, or I can swipe the other way for schedules. Now as a user, I can set up my schedules based on time and date. So I'm going to jump into the home schedule as an example to show you that I have morning, day, evening, and nighttime schedules, and for every day of the week. And as a user, I can affect these changes. Now for the 10% of the time when the dashboard control is just not enough, the full screen view is there to expand your options. So we've just explored the first two layers, which were the dashboard view and the full screen view. Both of these are great in their own right. The dashboard is super simple and the full screen view is there when more control and feedback are needed. But now let's explore this last and deepest layer, the edit mode layer. To access the edit mode layer, you need to be in the second view or full screen layer and notice in the top right hand corner the edit mode icon, which every full screen widget has. Now I'm choosing weather to show edit mode because weather apps are so familiar to smartphone users. Please know though that all widgets have their own edit modes. So for example, here in full screen weather, I press the edit mode icon and it takes me to the third level and I can see the list of cities. From here I can do several things. I can grab a city and rearrange the order. So for example, I can grab LA, California and drag it to the very top. Or I can show or hide cities by pressing the selection circle. So if I wanted to hide Limoges, France, I just tap the circle. 
Also, I can add a new city to my list by pressing the plus button and typing in the name of that city. So let's take and add Barcelona, one of my favorite areas. Barcelona, Spain. I hit done. It's validating the location and there's Barcelona, Spain. Now I'm going to take Barcelona and drag it to the very top. And what that is now done, anything on the top of the list becomes my dashboard view. So let's back out of here. I'm pressing my up arrow. And then I'm going to hit my home button in the top left hand side. And now notice on the dashboard view, I affected and changed from Orem, Utah as my dashboard weather city to Barcelona, Spain. Now it's important to note that all of our widgets, as I mentioned, have their own edit modes. With music, I can rearrange sources and zones. With lighting, I can show rooms and floors. And with scenes, as an example, I can build my own simplistic scenes. Look guys, no other system but Vantage empowers users to adapt their interfaces to their changing world. So we just showed you edit mode and how we could rearrange the order of the cities in the weather widget. Now what if the most important widget to you is weather? Let me show you how I can move weather to the first position on the dashboard instead of the middle where it's been. Now you'll notice here on the dashboard on the top right hand side there's a drop down box. I'm going to press that and it takes me to this popover. I'm going to press on settings and it takes me to the settings for this particular set of widgets. And I'm going to take weather and drag him to the top. You've seen this before, right? And I'm going to hit the home button, take me back home, and now notice that Barcelona Spain weather has moved to the far left instead of the middle where it was before. Question is, how do I keep weather for me while still allowing climate for somebody else? It's important that you know that up to this point I've been working with the default out of the box widget profile. So at this point what I would do is add a new profile for let's say mom and rearrange the widgets as needed. I can do this as many times for as many profiles on as many devices as I need. By definition, a profile is simply a collection of widgets and every Equinox screen has the potential for multiple profiles. What that really means to you is that each profile has the ability to show different widgets in different orders and with different primary data. For example, profile 1 could have Orem as its primary weather while Profile 2, in contrast, could have Barcelona as its primary weather. This same concept applies to each widget. Lighting favorites can change, scenes can change, and music zones can change per profile. Profiles can be based on a person, a place, a function, or even time of day. For example, in my house, I have three profiles on my iPad. One for the master suite, one for the family room, and one for the office. Each of those profiles manages each of those areas specifically. With the additional profiles, you now not only have a great out-of-the-box user experience that can be used in every circumstance, you also have a rich palette for creating a personalized user experience for even the most demanding environment. So you've seen the power of the Equinox user experience. It's 100% consistent across multiple platforms such as the Equinox InWalls, Apple and Android tablets, and smartphones. The most important thing to remember is that the capabilities of the Vantage dealer, together with the power of the Equinox prescriptive environment, allow the Vantage user to simplistically manage their home while at the same time drawing them into explore their home systems through Equinox and make changes as necessary, which then promotes the system to grow with them as their life situations change. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview. Thanks for watching. For more information about Equinox, visit us at www.vantagecontrols.com.